Hello, everybody. Thank you for coming. My name is Nadine Kiswani, and I'm part of Within Our Lifetime United for Palestine. Today, we are here joined by the New York for Palestine coalitions, the greater Palestinian and Arab and Muslim community in Bay Ridge, and Nur Social Center, community leaders, and just as a community to commemorate the 51st anniversary of the Nexa or the 1967 war in which there was further displacement for Palestinians on top of the 750,000 that were expelled from their homes in 1948 due to the creation of the State of Israel, and that is called the Nekba. We are also here today to condemn the most recent actions of New York State and city officials who participated in the Celebrate Israel Independence Day Parade. Since 1964, the Celebrate Israel Parade takes place in New York City and is the largest gathering in the world in support of Israel. The parade is led by Israeli officials and by elected <coughs> officials of New York City and New York State. Each year, the parade also draws a counter-protest where we stand against the celebration of the genocide of the Palestinian people. And we stand against the expulsion of 750,000 Palestinians that make up over 5 million Palestinian refugees today. We still remain the largest refugee population in the world. In the past two months alone, Israel has committed massacres against the Palestinian people while encouraged by the U.S. decision to move its embassy to occupy Jerusalem. Many of the organizations and, uh, and people here, people from the community, actually went to the counter-protest organized by New York for Palestine this year, and they were disturbed to see the amount of elected officials that were walking in front of us like nothing happened. As you can see, the coffins, the mock coffins we have here, for Palestinians that were killed, such as Razan and Najat, a 21-year-old Palestinian nurse who was brutally murdered just seconds after she put her hands up like this to signify that she did not have a weapon. Not that any of the other protesters were carrying weapons. They made it from the beginning that this was peaceful. They made it clear from the beginning that this was peaceful, yet Israel continues to act with severe aggression, killing over 119 Palestinians, and injuring over 1,300 with live ammunition. These aren't paper cuts, these are gunshot wounds. If Israel does not shoot to kill, it shoots to maim, and it shoots to cripple. But the Palestinian people have had enough, and we are standing up. Whether it be the people of Gaza continuing to protest, continuing to march to the border between them and Israel as part of the Great Return March, knowing that Israel will continue to kill innocents, whether they tear gas little babies like Leila al Hamdur, who died because she choked due to inhaling tear gas, or by murdering Palestinian journalists such as Yasser Murtaja because they are afraid of the truth coming out. The Palestinians in the West Bank are also standing up in Jerusalem and inside of 48, which is now known as Israel. But we have to show, and we are showing today, that it does not just stop in the borders of Palestine. The Palestinian diaspora in all parts of the world, and particularly today in New York City and Bay Ridge, are standing up today. <coughs> Enough impunity for Israel's actions. Enough U.S. vetoes for yes. Israel in the United Nations, rendering it impotent to open investigations and hold Israel accountable. Enough uh, yeah, you annual over $3.5 million in military aid to Israel. And enough of our elected officials standing with Israel co-signing off of our genocide. Bill de Blasio, Chuck Schumer, and every other city and state official that stood with the Celebrate Israel Day Parade spit in our faces. And we are here to stand up against them. Yes. So, we're going to do one more chant for Palestine and continue with the speakers list. From New York to Gaza, from New York to Gaza, you will feel the Intifada.